So what do we have right here? Just the fact that it's a question mark, the fact that it's just kind of... <laughs> it's haunting me almost. Because I know I'm right here, I know I'm right on top of it. I just need to know. Oh, hello. Hunter. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. What if you were a hunter? Named Hunter. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Ah, uh, yes. Just meet a man and immediately See you. tell him that you're breaking the law. Always a great idea. Uh-oh. Ah! What? Okay, not an enemy. Just a fox. <laughs> if you can't kill just a harmless little fox, then, uh, you know what? You might be a poacher, but I don't think you're going to be killing anything anytime soon. Well, Hunter's Rest seems like a nice place to kind of just rest up if I need a place to sleep, if I need to stop somewhere on the way back to Whiterun. I don't even know if we need to go all the way to Falkreath. I don't even know if we're going to need to go into the city if we need to go into town. Knife Point Ridge is going to be just kind of a straight shot from here. Yeah, if anything, going to Falkreath would just be kind of out of our way unless we wanted to loop through Falkreath up to Riverwood back to Whiterun, but it's hard to say right now. By the time we get to Knife Point Ridge, it's probably going to be dark. So maybe we can take them by surprise. Maybe some of them will be sleeping. That'd be nice. It'll be my first nighttime bandit raid. Every other time I've fought bandits, it's been the middle of the day. It's been morning. The sun has been up. And it is just revealing my location to all. Okay, I think that might be it up there. It's not a straight shot. I was wrong. I got a... Ride around the mountain a little bit, but still, not too, too terrible. Also, I lied. No sneak for me. Because it didn't take that long to get up here, so it's still light out. Oh, no. Oh, don't you kill my horse. I can't even name it yet, so you don't kill it. Don't you dare hurt my horse. You're a disgrace to your own kind! You're the bandit here. What are you talking about? Ooh, that was close. I also don't remember Knife Point Ridge off the top of my head. I think it's just been so long since I've really done, like, bounties and clearing out bandit camps that... Yeah, no, off the top of my head, I don't remember this one. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Is this where you come for... This is where you come for Boethia's Calling. Never mind. I remember it. Never mind, I recognize it. Ooh! Two for one. That was good. Oh god. Not good. Not good. Okay. Little too close for comfort. Oh, that archer's gonna murder me. Ooh. We're fine. We're okay. I didn't take anyone by surprise. <laughs> Not a single person was taken even remotely by surprise. Let's see if you guys have anything, if you have any potions, if you have anything worth taking, like jewels and stuff. Lockpicks, because I need more of those. Alright. Decent enough haul. Ooh! Man, <laughs> I wish I had found that earlier. I wish I had found the Iron Plate Helmet earlier, because I really like the look of the Iron Plate set, and now there's just no reason for me to take it. Now there's no reason for me to use it or grab it. And I guess that would be one criticism I have of some of the Creation Club alternate armors, because in the case of Iron and Steel, they're a little bit more out of your way, whereas... I don't know, maybe it's just how I play the game, but I feel like Silver, being in Workstead, that's a little bit easier to get to early on in the game, so you would 
maybe get silver before you would get iron or steel. Just through their respective quests, at least. Although iron, I know, obviously, you can find just in the world, even if you haven't done what was that? the quest for it yet. Silver, I think you need to. Steel, you might need to. Okay, he sees me. Oh, God. Oh! Well. How about we... How about we just see if this does anything at all? If this is even going to help me at all? Okay, helped a little bit. Weakening him up a little bit. Just put that arrow right in his knee. It's where it belongs. Okay. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. We're evenly matched. Our power is even. Now, I'm sure there's some people who don't necessarily like this level of difficulty. Where you just die this quickly. But I like it because we do feel more kind of evenly matched. And granted, uh, two-handed weapons in this are just tricky. And this comes down to timing a little bit more than it might in just um, regular Skyrim. Like, unmodded Skyrim. It does feel like timing is a little bit more crucial at times, which I do uh, really, really like myself. I'm going to take his padded armor and the Battle Axe of Frost, just because I can sell those. Maybe not for a ton or anything, but hey, money is money. Amulet of Zenithar, Varla Stone. Uh, I'm not going to sell the Wayfarer's Coat. Which I realize that the cost to weight ratio is much better on that than it is on the armor I picked up, but even still, the armor is just going to sell for more. I see a body in there. They're dead, but let's... Let, let's at least see what they have. <laughs> We're not freeing them. This, is, this isn't a rescue mission, but... Let's just break in. Also, this is not... The band camp that I thought it was. Once again, after a certain amount of time... And a certain amount of time of not having done... Uh these locations, these quests in forever, a lot of it just really, 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 really blurs together. It's a really gorgeous night. Like, just look at the sky, look at the color, that's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, we get a nice moonlit ride back to White Rump. By the time we get back, I was going to say it'll probably be morning. It'll probably still be night. I can grab a few hours of sleep before we turn this in. And uh, I'm praised for doing such a great job because, I mean, what else am I doing? I got nothing else going on right now. It's just companions. It's just whatever quests I can grab from people. But I am raking in the money. I'm raking in the septums. I'm going to make back the money from buying this horse pretty quickly, I think. So my curiosity is probably going to get the better of me here. I like that all the unknown locations are question marks. I like that from a distance, I can't necessarily see if it's going to be... You know, a bandit camp, a tower, a cave that I have to kind of get up close and personal in order to see that for myself. Take this and hold on to it. Uh, I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Excuse me? Slow down. Explain yourself. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Are you just going to... Hide right here. Is someone looking for you? Is someone looking for this? What am I getting myself into here? 
All right, I'm just going to start searching people. I'm going to see what they have. Oh, Orc Wanderer's Letters 1 and 2. I'll grab those. I'll read them in a sec. I'll read them in a minute. Journal piece, Bosmer Archers. Huh. What were these uh, wanderers doing? What are these wanderers looking for? Did you see someone run past just now? Uh, yeah, he went that way. I presume this leather boots of resist shock belong to you? Yes. How did you get this? Uh, uh, never mind. Here, it's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. Well, he threatened to kill me, so you go for it. Can I watch? Can I see what happens here? Do you know where he is? Because he just took off into the mountains, and I have no idea where he went. I have no idea how far away he got. Never mind, neither do you. Wait, 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 is that him? I think that's him. Oh, he did threaten to kill me. Hey, remember me? <laughs> oh, and you were threatening me? The fear on your face. Oh, the absolute terror on his face. And I was supposed to feel threatened by him. He's right over here. Time to end this little game. Oh, come on. You still come on. Man, you guys are not good at this. One's a coward, the other's a terrible shot. I'm going back to that tower. I'm going to check out the tower. I'm going to see what's going on there. You know, I'd like to say that I don't get involved, but we all know that's a lie. We all know that's the furthest thing from the truth. The second that I think there's something going on, the second that I think there's someone to talk to, something to do, I'm involved. You know, sometimes it just pays to stand around and listen to people and then walk up to them and say, Hey, I heard uh, about your problems because I was uh, eavesdropping a little bit. And frankly, I think I'm the only person in the world who can help you with this problem. Meanwhile, they're probably just wondering where I came from, what I'm talking about, but they're like, hey, sure, you know, no one else is eavesdropping, no one else is offering to help right now, so I guess it might as well be you. Okay, let's see what we have downstairs. Also, take a look at the journals. Bashk, I pray that the courier will seek you out where you'll be to give you this letter. You have been a noble servant to my family ever since I was too little to remember anything. You have honored my father ever since his house, Carl, and after his passing on, my husband's. Whatever misunderstandings between us, it saddens me every day that you had to exile yourself like this. You left without a word, without us thanking you for giving your years for us. Just so we're clear, I'm not upset with you. It has always been clear to me that the bond between you and my husband was founded on an oath, nothing more. You're an orc and a vile creature cursed by a Daedra. I do not imagine my husband will see a woman in you. Never. I know that the reason you left had something to do with the orc tradition of honor, but please come back to us at once. We all miss you. Sincerely, LG. LG, I do not write very well. You know this. I do not read well either, so I could only understand a little from your letter. From what I could read and understand, I thought you deserved an explanation. I am not willing to ride back to you, miss. I am sorry, but this is Malakath's command. You may love your husband, but he does not love you back. Your husbands love me. And for this, I... For this reason, away I must go. I am most likely not sending this letter to you either. Not until I find peace of my mind. Malakath commands, For I have been corrupted in ways of society and grew vulnerable in my life in solitude. That I must retreat to the wilds where I show my worth. This is his punishment. This is my quest. I hope the bandits will accept me, but if not, I shall make a short work of them in Malakath's name. Bosk. And then we also have the Bosmer Archer's journal piece. I'll never forgive you. You'll perish by my hand, bane of my father. This I swear by the blood of my blood you should have spared. I'm a hunter, adept in the ways of tracking, luring, hiding, and finally killing. When your path crosses with mine, you've met your end. 
May my arrow be swift to reach where you flee, and may its poison slowly torch you to agonizing death. And unfortunately, the bandits just kind of cut all of your adventures uh, short. Oh well. Oh, almost. Also, I will level up in just a second. Oh. Bandit's just keeping a uh, shrine to Ifri down here. Eh. It's not one of my divine. Alright, and let's put it into stamina. As for points, what do I have? Speechcraft is lowered because I'm bloody. I'm going to put it into speech mastery just because I do quite a bit of trading right now. I'll need to wash up before I really, really get back and start trading stuff, but for right now, this will have to do. Well, let's hop on our horse and head back. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Move along. Thalmor, huh? Interfering with official Move along. Thalmor business. Who are you? I am a Thalmor Judicia on important business that you are interfering with. What are you doing in Skyrim? We're making sure your Emperor wasn't lying to his elven masters when he agreed the Empire would give up false gods and foolish beliefs. Now, go away. Wow, all right. Do all Thalmor have such high opinions of themselves? That we are superior to men is an established fact. For example, take this belief in Talos, the Ninth Divine. Ha! Huh. Certainly you don't believe such things. Or perhaps there's something you'd like to confess. I have nothing to say. I don't like you. I think you're a heretic. Think you're kind of an and asshole. So you will die a heretic's death. And that's all it takes. You don't need any proof. You don't need any evidence. Just, I don't like you. I don't like that you're silent. So clearly that means you're guilty. Ooh, God, almost dead. Oh, oh God. Am I okay? Was that all of them? It was. I did not need to heal there, but I was worried that not all of them were dead. Okay. Ooh. We survived just barely. I'll definitely wash up before we get back to town, because the last thing I need is to walk back into town with Thalmor blood on my hands, because it would just be a little too obvious then. It would just be a little obvious that I, um, might be guilty of some light murder. You awaken feeling rested. The latest recruit, right? Wait. Now the other thing is, I'm realizing that another reason I'm leveling so quickly is I'm also getting the XP boost from being well rested. And seeing as I'm actually sleeping on a regular basis, which I've never really done before in Skyrim, I never really actually made use of a bed on a regular basis, that combined with the XP increase, well you just popped out of nowhere, from the Warrior Stone, yeah. I'm just leveling every which way possible. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. But you, I like. I've taken care of that problem. Another job well done. Your payment is secure. And yeah, my thanks. Alright. Well, in that case, I'm looking for work. Skewer was looking for you before. Talk to him before doing anything else.
<coughs> Please don't teleport through the uh, bench again. When the Empire surrendered to the Old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. Don't worry, I killed some on the way here. Ah, there you are. You wanted to see me? Yes. I have something a little different planned this time. But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. We will speak more. Tonight? Uh, where is the Underforge? I forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, where Eorland works. I guess that makes the sense. The door is hidden, but I will show you the way. Alright, I'll see you tonight. Alright then. You're looking at a real warrior. At least I used to be. Then in that case, you're not a real warrior right now. Look at you all slumped over. Some warrior you are. I say that and now some young hotshot's gonna make fun of me in just a couple years, because I've already got one foot in the grave. Some young hotshot's gonna say that to me, be like, oh, you're some warrior, alright, look at you. Walking around, Grandpa. I'm like, Grandpa! How, how dare you? I gotta steal and get off Adrian Evanici. Let's improve our battle axe. And, because I actually uh, sometimes know what I'm doing, I even remembered to put on my steel gauntlets of smithing to get that bonus. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to improve my silver armor, though. Oh, really? I do have the ability to. In that case, let me <laughs> very quickly put my steel gauntlets of smithing back on. And let's do the Curus and I can only improve each of them by one. Uh, let's go for the helmet then. All right. The irony that I'm fighting the silver hand in silver armor. <laughs> They're probably a little confused by it too, frankly, so... What are you looking at? I'll, I'll use that to my advantage. I will use their confusion to distract them so that it's easier to take them down. Hopefully that'll work. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Want to hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. You don't say. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. I'll have you know I'm the newest member of the Companions. Sounds like you've got a grudge. You've been talking to those Companions? Too hot-headed, they cried. Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them. Why did the companions reject you? It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. That's quite a bit of control to lose. You must really love to fight. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That, and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. You really think you can take me on? And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. A hundred gold, you say? You're on. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crying. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna remind you Come of that. On. No well, crying. Well. Another magic. This is no, no, no. I feel like this can go either way. I feel like this one might go either way. Right now we're pretty evenly matched. Although she is just swinging back and forth like there is no tomorrow. Okay. Well, she is actually getting a few good hits in, so... Oh god, yep, nope, she's gonna win. You think I'm a Ooh. No sign of him. Not so tough now, are you? I see how you killed that man. I really, really see how you're able to kill a man with your bare hands. 
I'm glad you held up for the two seconds so that you didn't just do me in, didn't just murder me. Sadia, wake up, dear. You want to hear a little yes. Nord wisdom? No, I don't want to hear it again. You don't really know a woman till you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Well, I certainly feel like I know you. You want a drink? Good. Chat time's over. No, I don't deserve one. Now, please, no more questions. I just got my ass beat. I certainly don't deserve a drink. Uh, no one tell the companions about this. Please. <laughs> I honestly feel like there wasn't that much I could do. Like, I couldn't swing any faster than that. The only thing I could have done is maybe if I had just run around to avoid some of her attacks, but aside from that, I really didn't have too many opportunities to, um, to not take as much damage as I did. Damn. Are you prepared? What is this place? Here's all you need to know. Yorvaskur is the oldest building in Whiterun. The Skyforge was here long before it was. And the Underforge taps an ancient magic that is older than men or elves. We bring you here to make you stronger, New Blood. Now let's move. Doesn't seem suspicious at all just doing this in the dead of night when no one can see us at all. Oh, well, someone can see us. Someone's up and about. I'm glad you came. It's been a long time since we had a heart like yours among our numbers. That pitiful ceremony behind the hall does not befit warriors like us. You are due more honor than some calls and feasting. I would hope you recognize Ayla, even in this form. Nope, not really. She's agreed to be your forebear. Forebear. We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away this great gift we've been granted. He thinks we've been cursed, but we've been blessed. How can something that gives this kind of prowess be a curse? So we take matters into our own hands. To reach the heights of the Companions, you must join with us in the shared blood of the wolf. Are you prepared to join your spirit with the Beast World, friend? And what if I don't want to be a werewolf? That is your choice. We will not force you. But to join the Circle, your blood must be as ours. Meet us here when you're ready. They say the Companions are the oldest and most honorable warriors in Skyrim, and the Circle represents the best and the bravest of their ranks. What if Kavak is wrong? What if this is the future of the Companions? What if this is what it means to be a great warrior? Wouldn't I be wrong to deny myself this power, and not take this opportunity as it stands before me? I'm ready. Very well. You wouldn't happen to have a tankard or anything, would you? Maybe be a little the bit more civilized calls, about brother. this. No, nothing to say. All right. Until next time. Well, all right. Bottoms up. All these younglings scampering around. Can I go back in? I can. Okay. <laughs> you know, I never really tried to go back in before. So let's give it a shot. Let's try it. If this is supposed to be our secret, if it's supposed to be a secret that the circle are werewolves, I feel like the last thing I should do is just be patrolling the streets of Whiterun in wolf form, in beast form. I feel like that's just asking for trouble. If anything, they're, gonna, they're just gonna realize, it's like, oh, where is this, uh, where are all these werewolves coming from? Why are we seeing werewolves right outside your Vasker? Did I get hit? Nope. Ayla. Are you awake? I was starting to think you might never come back. Yours was not an easy transformation, but you're still alive, so congratulations. We even have a celebration planned for you. There's a pack of werewolf hunters camped nearby, at Gallows Rock. The Silver Hand. I think you've met them before. 
We're going to slaughter them. All of them. Lead on. Skior's already scouting ahead. What just happened? You were born into the pack, brother. I almost envy you. That first time is always the most intense. You gave us even more trouble than Farkas did at his first turning. Am I a werewolf now? You have the blood of the wolf in you. You'll need to build up your strength before you can call on it again, though. Just be careful where you do it. Some cowards in this land can't stand the sight of glory before them. What does it mean to be a werewolf? Nothing until you choose to use it. Then, well, you got a taste. Stronger, faster. It doesn't last long, though. The blood of your foes can sustain you, if you're willing to feed. The more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. We could perhaps discover even more gifts of her seam. Is there a cure? Cure? Ha! You're sounding like the old man. I... I shouldn't say that. I love Kodlak. I respect and follow him. But he's wrong on this. It's no curse. We're made into the greatest hunters in the land. If he's worried about some mead-swilling afterlife and Sovngarde, he's free to pursue it. I'll take the glories of the hunt right here. All I'm saying is maybe you could have warned me about some of the side effects of having to feed. Because that's a little bit of a downside. I didn't realize I was immediately signing up to, uh, to feed on people. I'm not really into that. W where are we going? The Silver Hand have taken over the old fort at Gallows Rock. They always make such easy prey. Until next time. Gallows Rock. So where are we exactly? Oh! Did you carry me all the way from Whiterun? Did you carry me all the way here? Well, let me throw my helmet on before we go anywhere or do anything because I'm gonna need the protection. I'm quite dirty. <laughs> go figure. Beast form, take on the form of the wolf. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to transform now, because I just had my transformation all of two seconds ago. Aayla, are you following? Okay, good. I just want to make sure I'm not going this alone. I missed! Oh, that was embarrassing. My first time traveling with Ayla, and immediately she just watches me miss as I try to attack a bandit. Now I really have to make up for that. Now I really have to prove myself. Oof. I did buy a couple potions in Whiterun, so I'm not out of potions. I have at least a few. But I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for more as well, because I'm going to need them. Forty-six gold? Alright, I was hoping for a couple potions, but... I guess beggars can't be choosers. Well, Ayla, let's go on in. Let's go find Skewer. Because I know you said he's scouting ahead, but I don't see head or tail of him at all. Look at this. Cowards must have locked the place down after Skewer charged in. You can taste the fear. I see no sign of Skewer yet. Can't be a good sign if everyone here is still alive. Huh? Thought I heard Never and... Ooh, alright. Oh, I got one with that. Just not the one I was aiming for. Hey, nope, Ailey, you got in the way. That's not my fault. You can't blame me for that one. You saw me swinging. You should know better. Oh god, she got hit so hard into the wall that she had that same thing where I can't loot her. <laughs> it seems to happen when I kind of like knock people through the world. Anything in here? I'll take the lot. There's a dead one, isn't there? 
Thought so. Nobody we know by the smell. Some can't separate the animal from themselves. Go feral. This poor sod could have been anyone. We should keep moving. Locked, damn it. Alright, timing was decent enough. Now I'm curious, can I transform again? That's a yes! I guess it doesn't count that first time? Good to know. <laughs> I like how they don't hear me at all. As I walk up the stairs as a werewolf. Ooh! Okay, I just gotta be careful. Because even though I'm a werewolf, their two-handed attacks can still murder me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh there we go. <laughs> Definitely not overkill at all. Ali could use a little bit of help. Because I'm a little close to death. There we go. Nothing we can do for these ones now. Don't even want to think about what those creatures did to them before they died. You know, in some ways I like to think of it as when you're in your beast form, you don't have complete control. I like to think in some ways that once you've transformed, there's only so much control that you exert, which... That was how I always thought of it, especially after your first transformation. Like when you're in Whiterun, when you just suddenly wake up as a werewolf. Okay, I don't have anything yet. I'm making progress, but I'm not quite there yet. You'll also note that I did not opt to use a mod that makes it so that you can just not become a werewolf at all, and that was intentional, because in the end I do think it is... This thing of it, it is part of the companion story, and even if you get a mod that allows you to continue without joining, it doesn't necessarily have the same weight to it, just narratively speaking. I'm also taking this opportunity because I've never really used the werewolf power before. I really, really, very rarely do. Often I'll just do the thing of the second I become a werewolf, the second that I join the circle, I never use it outside of that initial transformation, so... Figured it's time to uh, mix things up a little bit. Time to try out something a little bit different for me. I gotta say, oh, I feel like a monster right now, for better and for worse. I definitely feel like a killing machine. I also like that, and granted, Ayla could have already transformed previously, but I like that right now it's just me, and she's just kind of walking around and going, yeah, you know, whatever, have fun. Enjoy. Eat. Be merry. 25% more damage. Alright. Now once again, because it's been so, so long since I've really used it, can I just transform back at my own will? No, it's just the roar. That's right. Can I still pick things up or not really? No. I can open doors, but I can't pick things up. So if anything, I want to kind of like transform back. That way I can just start looting stuff because I still want more potions and everything. Oh, I can't open this door though. Is it only certain doors I'm allowed to open? Is it because I don't have thumbs right now? I guess so, yeah. 
We're getting close now. Be careful. Can I have my thumbs back, Their please? Their leader is a tricky one. They call her the Skinner. I don't think I need to tell you why. Still no sign of skewers. Still not a great uh, sign. If I just rush in here and... Oh, I didn't even get the attack in there. How embarrassing. Oh! Oh, there we go. Ayla, I need your help because I'm getting attacked. Ayla, I need some help. Alright, Ayla, no help. Thank you for nothing. Alright. I waited until I transformed back because there's a lot of loot. And if I just keep going through, I'm just gonna miss a lot of great loot that frankly I need I saw a couple potions I have all these people that I can loot for their stuff sorry for eating you guys definitely wasn't me in control I am at the mercy of the beast blood the second I transform and once the beast is in control there's no holding it back oh hey Lycanthropic Legends of Skyrim. Someone was doing some research. Honestly, I'm probably better off fighting the Skinner just in my human form. When I'm fully in control, when I know exactly what I'm doing and I have all of my normal combat prowess at my disposal. Ooh, Master Chest. Oh, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna happen. Unless I just get really lucky and find that sweet spot immediately, but I don't think it's gonna happen. You know what, let me just hit 25 and then I'll be good to go. We're right there, why not? Wait, wait, wait! <gasps> oh, even better. Even better. Novice robes, minor magicka, silver garnet ring. Alright, not bad. Definitely worth, um, <laughs> going through as a man, going through as a human. Ugh. You know, I got a, a little bit of bandit, a little bit of, uh, silver... <laughs> the silver hand's stuck in my teeth right now, and, uh, I just can't get it out. It's real annoying. What was that? Nothing. Ah, I thought he was closer. I swung way too early. I was hoping that he was already, like, right at the door, or just about at the door. Ooh. Ayla, thank you. That was a close one. Oh, that's why it wouldn't let me open it before, because it was locked. So it wouldn't even give me the prompt. I see potions. Ooh, Cape of the Silver Hand. I'll take that. As a trophy, if nothing else. See, this is the most potions I've had at once. This is kind of nice. Last Scabbard of Akrash. Smithing increased, which I do want to work on, truth be told. So I gotta start working on that a little bit more, if nothing else. We're getting else. close now. Be careful. Their leader is a tricky one. They call her the Skinner. I don't think I need to tell you why. Uh, honestly, I think I have a pretty good idea why. I think she's pretty good at murder. You can't hey. win this. Oh, I thought she was within range. She was not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, that was fast. Didn't make any difference, man or uh, beast. I died instantly. I don't want to just resort to using archery every time I'm in a sticky situation. So I'm just going to really, really focus on taking out some of her people first. Keep my potions at the ready. Just be aware of where she is. Hopefully, Ayla can slow her down a little bit. Ooh, alright. He went flying. Ayla? Ayla? Can you help out? She's trying to skin me. I love a good Ooh. Alright. That enchantment is just making very quick work of me. 
Also, those potions that I um, got, I'm just blowing through them now, aren't I? It's just an iron sword of shocks, but man oh man, was it dealing a lot of damage to me. I'll sell it. Let me also just see what, where I'm at with my potions. Five potions healing and one minor potion of healing. Okay. Well, we're right near Windhelm. I can do a supply Bastards. run. Somehow they managed to kill Skior. He was one of the strongest we had, but numbers can overwhelm. He should not have come without a shield brother. Get out of here. I'm going to make sure we got the last of them, and see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The Silver Hand will tremble at our sight. What's our first target? I've been hearing rumors of Silver Hand activity. A group of them has holed up in the Pale. Run fast, my friend. Striking the heart. I'm gonna find whoever did this. I'm not gonna loot him. That'd be very disrespectful, frankly. That's where I have to draw the line. That's where I have to just kind of say, Nope. You can keep your stuff. Let's see what we got. All right, looks like that's everything. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. All right. All right, then. Well, let's get outside and take a look at where we're headed. So we're headed to Fort Fellhammer, which is going to be north of us, so yeah. First things first, let's stop in Windhelm. That's going to be our first stop. I need to resupply, I need to sell some things, and it'll just be a good pit stop on the way up into the pale.